does the Bible say about women in ministry? And so we really want to see, what does God say? And I see women, Old Testament, New Testament, you know, in the Bible, very active in ministry. But I think we get out of sync where it says that a woman should be subject to her husband. It didn't say every man. It said her husband. And I like this, too, because people said this to me. There is neither male nor female in Christ Jesus. So when I started in the ministry, women didn't speak. So this is what God said to me. That will never be your problem. That will be my problem. Your problem will be your faith. And I can say that is the truth. I haven't had a problem of being a woman in ministry. But I've had a problem with my faith sometime. And so I don't want you to criticize women. I don't want you as a woman to feel that you can't do something. And I think you husbands, you need to encourage your wife, you know, because husbands should, should absolutely back their wives. And my husband did. He thought I was a lot better than I am. He would always say, oh, Marilyn, that's so outstanding. And then we had a family joke. I'm going to take it and make it really extra special. <laughs> and so, you know, we laughed and we talked. But he is the one who said to me, I want you to preach every other week in the church. That was a shock. Did the church leave? No, it grew. Did God leave me? No, he encouraged me. So remember, all of us, male or female, we need to walk in faith. And we don't need to be criticizing. And I had a lot of neg negative words said to me. When I started in television, unsaved men said to me, you're not television material. You'll never make it. And those men are not on television. I still am. I had an evangelist, a wonderful evangelist, who said, you know, you're not a good pastor's wife because you just want to teach the Bible. You don't play the piano. You don't play the organ. You don't work with the Women's Missionary Council. Now, folks, be careful what you listen to because the Bible says there's neither male nor female in Christ Jesus. If I had listened to that today, I would not be reaching literally billions of people. So let's don't curse. Let's bless and don't live by past opinions.